Today our mouths have a look at every single Tillamook ice cream flavor. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We haven't tried another ice cream brand in a gut check since the episode that started it all. Mm -hmm. Ben and Jerry's. Wow. We even did a part two episode of Ben and Jerry's because they had so many flavors. But today, we finally fix that because we're trying every single ice cream flavor from the Oregon brand Tillamook. We couldn't figure out if it was Tillamook, 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 I think it's Tillamook. Tillamook, 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 which is a farmer owned co-op that doesn't only produce ice cream but also various dairy products including cheeses, yogurt, and butter. You think they got enough types of butter for us to do a gut check butter edition? Well, if there's a God, they do. Today we're just doing ice cream. It's time for Gut Check, Tillamook Ice Cream Edition. Oh, oh, oh Stevie. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, we're excited. Oh, ho, oh, oh, Stevie. Oh, oh, oh. I'm assuming that means you want to hear what you're going to be doing today. Yeah. Uh, you know the drill. The Mythical Crew acquired every available Tillamook ice cream and frozen custard for today's tasting. Frozen custard, too. Just this morning, we discovered that Tillamook is about to release a couple of limited edition flavors in the near future. So maybe we'll try those in a future episode. But after you try each flavor today, you'll give it a score of 1 to 100 based on your gut reactions. Mm -hmm. Then you'll taste the top four to determine which Tillamook ice cream deserves the top title of... Attila the Yum. Attila the Yum, uh, thank cool. you for giving me yet another scoring aid chart. I will say this is absolutely the least helpful one you have ever created for me. <laughs> like, it's not, like, okay, it st starts here. This isn't freaking Candyland, Twinkie Fingers. Oh, I see, you're complaining about your scoring aid. Because it goes, it doesn't, it's not all in one direction. Like, I don't. Look what they gave me. I thought that was just there. Gets, what? Gets, Rhett, Rhett gets. gets chart two. Okay. All right. Y'all suck. Y'all still a suck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gentlemen, if you're- himself. <laughs> Let's get this going. If your frozen palates need a refresh at any point, we have some hot water with lemon on standby in one of our fabulous Floor is Lava travel mugs from mythical.com. How many items can we fit in one <laughs> shot? <laughs> Buy it all! We're starting out with 28 Tillamook classic premium ice cream flavors, beginning with Old Fashioned Vanilla. Oh yeah, you know about that. Yeah, I've heard of vanilla. Oh, oh, it's good, it's a good vanilla, I'd but it's still it's, vanilla. I'd say it's better than an average vanilla, 60. S uh, I, well, why are you going? That, that's okay. I was going to say sixty-eight. I vanilla thought, I thought bean. You I thought you were a vanilla guy. Well, I didn't. A hear little what, bit better than regular vanilla. What was that called? Vanilla, vanilla bean. bean. Seventy-one. Uh, Sixty-five. French vanilla. Whoa. This is the yellower vanilla. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Ugh. It's worse. Oh gosh. What did the French do to that? Twenty. 55. Especially when you compare it directly with the other ones. Chocolate. I've heard of this. It's a lot better than vanilla. Mm. You know what, you're right. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. You didn't know that chocolate was better than vanilla ice cream? 71. 80. Chocolate chip. Okay. They got little chips. It's good, 74. Uh, 49. Utterly chocolate. What do y'all do to that? Oh, it's got a mix in or something. Mmm. Hey, actually, 68. It's soft. I don't know if it's just better than regular chocolate. I didn't think it was. 77. Tillamook mudslide. Mudslide? What oh. y'all do there? Oh, look, it's a big old chip. That's one of my favorite drinks when I'm like in a resort pool. Mmm. I like that. Ooh, I, is it better than chocolate? 81. 70. Malted moo shake. Okay, what is malt? It's um, it's that stuff that makes shakes not as good. Thirty-two. It's not that. It's not as good. It's still ice cream, and I still like it. Sixty-two. Mmm, it's hot. Chocolate peanut butter. <gasps> That's a thing. 
There we go. You know the peanut butter boys are gonna bring it. Oh, did I get did I get some peanut is there is there a peanut butter ribbon in there that Oh KG skimping on you? I don't know if I got a peanut butter ribbon. I wanna make sure I get a ribbon. Not as many brands have like the chocolate within the peanut butter ribbon. Uh, I used to have to get it from the Harris Teeter brand back so, in North Carolina. So it's more of an essence. I gotta go. 78. 88. Chocolate chip cookie dough. Uh, come on, come on. I'm really judging the dough. Uh, That's good dough. I'm getting double bites. For real dough? KG's digging in and making sure she's getting the right thing. KG, yeah. come on, we all have a role to play. I'm the dumb one with the chart. What are you? <laughs> uh, a eighty-two. Um, seventy-three. Cookies and cream. Mm. All right. They don't want to say Oreo because they can't pay for it. That's a good ice cream. That's a big. That's big pieces of not actually Oreo. Sixty-seven. Mm. Seventy-nine. Monster cookie. We would. What's that? What is a monster cookie? Mm, you tell a, me. I think there's a caramel in there. That's mm. pretty good. There's some chocolate. All ice cream is good. That's one of the things I'm realizing right now. 40. 75. Yeah, I haven't hated anything. You just gave one of them a 20, that's all. Oh yeah, I hated that one. The French vanilla. Are you actually drinking or are you faking it? <laughs> I, I just realized it wasn't open. He's. <laughs> Stevie, you know, we always How fake, do you we, open it? We fake drink on this show. How do you open it? Mint chocolate chip. Ooh, I like this. Mm. 12. 100. I love mint chocolate chip. I just don't like it. He gave it a 12, so I have to do, I have to do something for it. Rocky Road. Uh, mm. Now, is there crunchy stuff in there? There's nuts, there's marshmallows, and chocolate yeah. chips. That tastes good. Their chocolate is really good. Yeah. They, got, they bring the chocolate. I gotta give this a solid 50. I'm giving it a, a solid 70. Coffee almond fudge. Okay. That's weird. You kinda need multiple bites of coffee ice cream to adjust to it when you're eating other ice cream. Yeah. I might need a second bite of that, because I don't wanna give it, I don't, it's just kind of shocking, and I wanna be able to adjust. It is shocking. I don't want another bite. Still not great though, 61. <clears throat> 42. I'd still eat a whole bowl of it though. Oregon hazelnut and salted caramel. Oh, I don't like hazelnut that much. Don't prejudge it. Oh, you could have. It's very hazelnutty. It's worse than hazelnut. Wow, if you don't like hazelnut, 20. You're not gonna like this. 15. You drinking real this time? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Butter pecan. Oh. Mm. Oh man. Oh man, I love it. It takes me back. It's super nostalgic. 84. 12. What don't you like about that? The taste. Mm. Caramel toffee crunch. Caramel toffee crunch. Toffee. Where, where is it appropriate to like toffee? Like where 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 does it where is its Most, place in the world? All, all fifty states, really, and, no, I mean, and the rest no, of the I world. No, I mean like what setting? Like where is toffee actually something that you need? Right now, I just enjoy that. Seventy. Yeah, but I would never order that. I would oh. never order it. Thirty. <laughs> He's a toffee hater. Caramel swirl. Their caramel's pretty good. Yeah, it is, that's not bad. 55. 67. Waffle cone swirl. See, I like the interesting stuff. In principle. I don't really know what I just taste. I taste it just like chocolate and I think there's pieces of waffle cone together. in there. I can't give it a 69. It's really soft. 67. KG just said, I think they're melting. Yeah, it is ice cream. Uh, 60. Banana split. Hmm. Ooh. That is so accurate. They nailed the flavor. Gee. Gee Man. whiz. Gee willikers. I don't even like banana. I'm gonna give that a 78. 
78. I am so blown away at how not fakey it tastes to yeah. get a banana flavor like it's that impressive. and a little chocolate and even a little cherry. We're having a moment. 83. Peaches and cream. Uh-huh. That's like a homemade ice cream. Real pe real peaches pieces. Holy mackerel. Wow. What? Now we're now we're getting into a space. How are they doing that? Yeah, we are. 84. 84. Oh! <laughs> Isn't that when the siren goes on? <laughs> it kind of I was waiting for that as well. <laughs> Oregon strawberry. Oh. Those Oregon strawberries can withstand the frost. Okay. I typically do not like strawberry ice cream. I They're mean, killing I like the it, fruits, man. But I don't fruits. ever get it unless it comes with something else. Fruits are bomb. Like Neapolitan. That's the best strawberry ice cream I think I've ever had. It's so creamy. 84. I'm not going to give it an 84 because it's still strawberry ice cream, but I'll give it a I'll give it a 77. Dang. Yeah. All right. White chocolate raspberry. Oh. I'm intrigued. Man. Did y'all put something in the air? They know how to do some fruits. Did y'all release a gas? They know how to fruit it up. Y'all been talking about that for years about releasing a gas. Y'all been releasing the gas? <laughs> At some point. I see it in your eyes and they're like, one of these What days, are you talking about? We're not I'm saying, idiot or No, 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 I'm just. Because we like in fruit I'm ice cream? I'm saying all of a sudden we started liking fruit ice cream yeah. like a couple of crazy guys. I'm not a fruit ice cream. And I'm cream like, they must have released the gas they've they been might. talking about for all these years. The fruit ice cream loving gas. <laughs> Uh, what, what was it? What did we just have? White chocolate raspberry. <laughs> so tasty. Seventy nine. God, I gotta, I gotta go above the last one. Eighty nine. Eighty seven. What? 80, I have to go above what I just said. Whatever that was. What was that? It was eighty four. No, eighty five. Gas off. This again. is eighty five. Marionberry pie. Ma <laughs> <laughs> Release the gas. <laughs> Not as good as, as nope. the other ones. Nope, that's something. Y'all turned the gas back off, didn't you? Um, I'm 50. I'm, 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 I'm gonna give that a. That's not why great. does it go from 70 to zero, though? I'm so. Con it's like a candy lamp. 60. <laughs> 60. Mountain Huckleberry. Huckleberry? I'll be, I'll be a Huckleberry. That's like the only movie line that I ever quote. And only when someone says Huckleberry. I do taste the pie part of it. I don't like that. 40. 48. I'm sorry, I was trying to, I didn't know there was a pie part of it, that was a previous one, but great. Oh. Oregon dark cherry. Oh. I'm tasting the. <laughs> eh. Oh, I, that, that's like a, um, it's like a black cherry, which uh, I haven't gotten in quite some time since maybe the 90s. 20. That's a really good black cherry, 74. Okay, maybe this is the last time we do hot, hot liquids. Too hot. <laughs> Why'd y'all make it so daggum hot? Birthday cake. Okay, birthday cake. Mm-hmm. It's got that cake batter. I don't like cake flavors. Usually, but that's really tasty. Mm -hmm. 71. 45. And that concludes our classic oh. premium category okay. now. It's time for the frozen custard, which is similar to ice cream, but made with eggs in addition to cream and sugar. Mm, okay. We're gonna start with Bing Cherry Cheesecake. Bing. Bing. Oh wow, the consistency is cheesecake. It almost oh. tasted like I was eating a frozen cheesecake. I don't even like cherry. I gotta, I gotta bump that up to sixty I'm gonna just for the give cheesecake it of it all. Eighty-five. That's, a, that's wow. Cold brew chocolate chip. Okay. Oh. That's better than the coffee ice cream. Definitely. So much better. That's a solid 80. Ah, I'm going solid 70. Maple and candied pecan. Okay. Mm. The flavors are very real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can really pick it apart. I gotta give that one a 72. I mean, a 70 also. Oh, well, I'll give it. I'll give it a. I'll give it a seventy-two, and by that I mean a seventy-two, like a seventy-two. Oregon strawberry shortcake. Uh oh. Not as good as regular strawberry. 
They do a good job with the strawberry in general, though. 57. Um, 54. Salted caramel. I feel like this flavor has had its moment in the sun. You know yep. what I mean? It's over. Like it was big in like gelato shops in the late aughts. Yep. 37. 50. Sea salt and honeycomb toffee. Okay. Sea salt. What is yeah. happening? Very salty. Say all those things again. Very honey. Sea salt and honeycomb toffee. That's packed with flavor. And it's so unique. It's got toffee in it too, Link. 82. 84. Whoa, wow. Yeah, look, yeah, at, look at that. Yeah. And that concludes the custard category. You have successfully tasted all the available Tillamook ice cream Ooh. and frozen custard flavors, and your scores will now be tabulated so you may more closely judge the top four flavors. Please stand by. Well, this is a little bit awkward, but I have just now noticed that you're wearing a similar sweatshirt to me. Oh, really? Yeah. We should have talked. <laughs> well, we're talking now. Let's That's talk all that now. matters. That's right. If you want the mythical Randler mascot sweatshirt, well, it's available in, guess what? Red and gray. It features a Randler, uh, imagines into the mascot style of our alma mater, the NC State Wolfpack. Yeah. Or some other mascots. I mean, there's that a you number of mascots that do that kind of thing, but you seem know, like. it's like, it's, that's what we were Just thinking. Just go to mythical.com, get yourself one of these, all right? Yeah. yeah. What do we got? To you, the top four Tillamook ice creams are chocolate peanut butter. Nice. No surprise there. White nope. chocolate raspberry. Woo! Peaches and cream. Oh, that's a little bit of a surprise to me. Oh. Sea salt and honeycomb toffee. Ooh, a little yeah. one. And the one that you gave the lowest score to was the Oregon hazelnut and salted caramel. Boo. Yeah, we did. did not love it. So, I mean, again, the one, we were surprised by fruit. See that ribbon right there, Link? This is what we've been waiting for right here. This I, is the ribbon. I'll tell you, I, I gotta champion this. Champion it, go for it, let me hear it. Chocolate with ribbons of peanut butter is an undeniably heavenly experience. But what is it not as good as? Nothing, man. It's not as good as Ben and Jerry's chocolate peanut butter world or peanut butter world. I might like it just as much because it's simple. I want, it, I want the chocolate to be stronger, honestly. And then this right here. But this was a... A bit of a revelation. The consistency of this stuff is so good. It's mild, it's creamy, it's it's cloud-like. And I think it's better than this, but let's just see. I think it's better than a chocolate peanut butter. Because the um, peaches, I mean, there's a peach ribbon. I like both of the fruits better than the chocolate and peanut butter. I mean, that's saying a lot, you know me. Because they're novel. And then this, it's, I'm just blown away by the accuracy. That is so good too. Y'all made some good ice cream. Dang. I'm getting more of the toffee the second time around. I'd like to kick this one out. I would just I, like. I'll, I'll let you kick that one out if you'll let me make this one not number one because I don't think this one's the best one. I mean, I'm almost positive it's not as good as either of the fruit ones. Okay. Well, we're gonna put that at number three then. And I think that's a nice, strong showing. This is more of a dessert experience, and this is more of a. Well, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm trying to peaches do, and ice cream. Experience. I'm trying to do the like. I'm going to eat a bowl of this. You know, I'm just trying to get more and figure, figure out how it feels. And how are you going to do that? Just by eating You're, a bowl's worth. I'm going to keep eating them. I'm zeroing in on my favorite. I know which one. I know which one it is. Lit it up. Now we're gonna do it at the same time because we're thinking the same thing, right? We're gonna put the one that we think is the. Well, we're you gonna put that gonna one where you think the, it should we're go? We're gonna put this where I'm we think put it this should one go. Where you think it should go? All right, and crowning. Then what was it called, Stevie? Attila the Yum. Attila the Yum. Attila the Yum. It's. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? really? Dude, we should have coordinated, man. This is like us and our uh, our twitters. <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward. Oh, oh, taste man. them again, taste them again. <laughs> Somebody's gotta give here. This is so mild and vanilla-y. This is so mild? That, this bursts with accuracy. 
unbridled peachiness, but the pieces aren't overwhelmingly large. All right. I would never vote for a peach ice cream. I'm gonna let nostalgia take the cake. The Tillamook, top of the yard, whatever you called it, Stevie. <laughs> Tilla the hook. Uh, Tilla till the, the muck. Tilla the muck. A Tilla the yum. Tilla the yum. <laughs> <laughs> Peaches and cream! Can you believe it? Peaches and cream is the best ice cream? Yeah, dude. Freaking I mean, I'm so surprised. Freaking awesome! Thanks for subscribing and clicking that barrel. You know what time it is. We're the Johnsons. And we're the Sharples. And we're trying to find out what's the best vanilla ice cream. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel of mythicality. We should get the Neils and the McLaughlins together and do that. Yeah, we should just ice cream it up. Just two families just eating ice cream together. Yeah, out in the park. Click the top link to watch us guess which ice cream toppings are being thrown at our faces in Good Mythical More. What? And to find out where the Wind of Mythicality is going. Go fight win! Introducing our most academic apparel yet, the Mythical Randler mascot sweatshirt. Score yours now at mythical.com.